What's going on, everybody? We just tapped into another episode of the Dadcast. We missed one episode last week, but it's all right. Y'all gonna have to bear with us. Just starting now. <laughs> yeah, just starting now, man. Dude, you get you gotta uh, <laughs> let us work out the kinks, man, because you know things are just uh, getting started for us right now. We're just getting you know everything underway, but we got a lot of exciting content coming up for y'all, man. Oh yeah, this is episode five. Yeah, technically episode yeah. five, right, right, right. So, man, we got a lot of things going on right now. Uh, a lot of movies going going up right now. We got the Flash coming yeah. out. Uh, you know, uh, the CW verse just ended with the Flash original series, and there's they still have uh, Superman and Lois going on right now. Yeah, um, uh, Gotham Knights just got canceled for it. There's like a big battle between the two. Oh yeah, I saw Gotham yeah. Knights just got canceled, man. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, they man. were only saving one of those shows, and they picked Superman and Lois to sh- to save. Oh okay, yeah, but then as soon when Superman and Lois ends, that's gonna be it. Yeah, that's the end of this kind of superhero CW verse. Okay, okay, yeah, man. Um, one big thing in DAB. A, a part of you know what we do our storytelling our comics and everything like that man we like to talk about the future and the possibilities of things that's going to be going on so right. i'm interested okay we got some you know everybody knows transformers just dropped now yeah. today's episode is the presence and the impact of artificial intelligence virtual reality this future technology future tech that's going on right now and people have been writing about this for years in comics man um yeah super movies it's been going on a while so where are we in terms of this stuff like even in the comics characters we we've seen in the marvel cinematic universe dc Mm -hmm. what's going on like i mean (laughs) this is crazy yeah, no. I mean, it's we we got to. I mean, man, I got to adapt the character, uh, AI type of character uh, in Black Bow. Yeah, Chapter Two coming out. Soon. He, I knew he was gonna throw that ad in there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Every we got time. Chapter Two is coming out right now, man. If you guys don't know, man, support us on Patreon. Uh, you can go on Patreon and uh, select any tier you want for our podcast. If you like our podcast and video productions, but you like comics and you know. Uh, DC Marvel and that type of style and you like comic books and you like reading independent stories and original stories check out our series Black Boat that's a tier for you strict comic lovers and if you like our cinema productions you know our short films yeah we just we got a tier for that a little bit ago Dragged In yep check that out too while you're at it oh yeah Dragged In you know that was uh, that was our first time really putting some stuff together go check that out it's on YouTube right now Dragged in the movie 2023. Just go tap that in. But, um, yeah. AI is real big right now. Yeah, it's huge. It's all the talk. Yeah, no. It's on everything right now. Like, like chat, chat GPT. Uh, mm-hmm. This that this AI app. That I, AI app. It's everything that's going on right now. So it's like, is this the... F- I, I think the future is here. Like, this is, this is the beginning of everything. Like, we grew up seeing, like, the jets and flying cars. Like, all of that. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. So I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 Austin, what as far as AI, bro, like like I said, I gotta make an AI character in black bro. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do, do some type of computer sentient being that comes to life and just wants to wipe out all humanity. Yeah. Maybe not even that, maybe it'll be a good guy. Like who knows? Maybe, yeah. Like but uh only way to find out is read black bro. Yeah, right, that's the only way to find <laughs> out, man. Matter of fact, you guys better read. If you have, if you don't know anything about Black Bull, get Chapter One right now on DynamicAdventurousBusiness.com. Make sure you go cop that, you guys. Uh, AI, what is your favorite type of character that revolves around either future tech or artificial intelligence? Probably, definitely Brainiac. He's a big one. He kind of. Was definitely kind of the start of it. Okay. Yeah, um, bring it. You know, from Superman, if you read those comics. 
Mm. Um, from Supergirl, he's a there's one in Supergirl, the CW show now. Right, right. Yeah. Um, he's a good guy. He's kind of the good brainiac, kind mm-hmm. of his evil cousin type thing <laughs> going on. So no, he's right. pretty interesting. He's cool to watch and just you know his 31st century technology, you know, mm-hmm. from his spaceship all the way up to just the way he like laughs at the technology from like. <laughs> If we're talking about Supergirl, the CW show, like the DEO, the D- like, yeah, he goes in and it's like, this is all you guys got, and it's like, nowadays it's, you know, top tier, it's a special ops military, right. they got the best of the best, and he's just sitting there laughing at it, like, oh, how are you supposed to find Supergirl with that? Like, I just started recently watching the CW shows over again. Okay. I'm on Flash now, I just finished season... Three or four of Supergirl, and that's when Brainiac got introduced. Brainiac Five, right, right. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, man. Um, as far as uh, hey, let me check. Make sure is, is your mic on. Yeah, speaking to custom, custom, custom. Hmm. Seems like your mic's a little down a little bit. Speaking to it. Testing, testing, testing. Are you hearing me? Even hearing me yet? Yeah, a little bit. Or is it through years? I mean, mine's is definitely, like, peaking right now. now. Testing, 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 testing. A little bit. Still a little bit? Yeah, we'll have to, yeah, we'll edit some of this shit out, don't worry about it, but, yeah. Um, I'm wondering why that should be picking up your audio fine. It is on. Yeah, it's just not picking up any audio. Did you connect that to the blue- this one to the Bluetooth, too, or just that one? Oh, yeah, they're all connected because... This right here. Oh, I thought it was something I actually plug into the Bluetooth. Is that better? Testing, testing, testing. Nope. It's like, hmm, that's strange. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. whatever. <laughs> as long as you can hear me at least. Yeah. A yeah. decent amount. I think you can hear me a perfect amount. All right, sweet. We're good then. So we'll just cut that entire part out too. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to. There's a lot of stuff we're gonna have. To. Yeah, I'll just say it every time, so you kind of have a yeah. spot. But yeah, so some stuff on Brainiac, man. There's been many versions of Brainiac, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, throughout the history of the DC and the multiverse. Uh, but one of the common uh, facts that exist across all of them is that he's an alien artificial intelligence who travels the universe gathering information from planets, destroying them, and then per- preserving them and their mini- miniaturized uh, versions on his shit. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a better Galactus, honestly. Yeah, that's kind of like how Galactus was. Yeah. You see, Galactus, but, but Galactus he just was, destroyed them. Galactus was just eating worlds. Yeah, he, he wasn't preserving their yeah, cultures. He's or like, oh, like that. The, these, like, they're dope. I want to keep them as pets. Not basically. Essentially. Yeah, no, seriously. Um, also, um, the one of the recent in the Snyderverse the mother box right oh, yeah. the mother boxes those were those were artificial intelligence that like adapted to the biology of like mm-hmm. other beings like with side that's how cyborg was created yeah with a mother box right like that's gotta be one of the ultimate like that's like that feels like man you can uh, update to any type of uh technology on the planet and interface with it mm-hmm. like that's crazy dude like yeah that's kind of insane dude it's, that feels like it's kind of like what we're doing today like yeah honestly Man, are are we gonna end up tampering with something like as far as the real life, like humanity? Are we gonna end up tampering with something that we are gonna end up regretting? Like it, it, it's, it's interesting. Well, probably right? we're humans. It always happens, right? Just hopefully, like it, hopefully, like you know, Skynet shit happens, man. Don't Whereas, like you know, we 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 end up you know basically hitting a. A beehive, and all of a sudden <laughs> we all get stung, man. But, yeah. Uh, this it's great. So, other artificial intelligence, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, man, like Ultron, just, Ultron, yeah, Marvel, Vision, Vision, yeah, which came off of Ultron, but yo, that's all fire, man. Like, really? definitely, uh, man, it's just so much craziness going on here. Artificial intelligence the, is the new wave, man. With this new uh, Apple Vision Pro that's out right now, this thing's almost four thousand dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. And it's like 
dude, the rip, like they just they're gonna take if they adapt that to video games, like they're gonna take that to the next level, man. It's, 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 it's about to be over, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's it's gonna take gaming to the next level. I mean, to the point where we actually might be able to be inside of video games, feeling everything, feeling everything, That'd be insane. touching I mean, everything. Like you actually feel stuff when you shoot, and you actually feeling the vibrations of everything you're doing. So that's that's the next that's the next uh, level and everything gaming mm -hmm. tech everything I think they're already starting like you know that AI where they change the voice of somebody or they make it sound like that person is in a photo or something talking right right like that's insane to just think about how realistic that voice sounds yeah and just listening to it through that oh um, like and that's just the start of it I think we're not even at the peak of AI yet like we're at the bare minimum and it's already talking for you. That's mm -hmm. what, like you have to type it in and everything, obviously, but it's still right. like sounding like you. Still, you know, tricking people to think that you're actually talking when you're not. And that's just insane to think about. That's that's what I'm talking about. Like, is it, man? Like, we can take it to the furthest levels of science fiction, man. Like, okay, what about you know? I mean, the furthest of the furthest levels, man, it can go from us not piloting or having to drive our cars anymore to, mm -hmm. to man, like, they're, 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 dude, they're making robot companions for people now. Like, having, like, imagine your wife's a robot. That'd be bro. so weird. Like, dude, like, oh and goodness. then you and put artificial intelligence into that, like, robot love doll or whatever, That'd bro. That'd be so weird. It'd be like WandaVision. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah honestly. <laughs> like, yeah. if WandaVision was a reality TV show. Oh, man, because, yeah, because, like, literally, oh, man. Uh, all the stuff in, uh, like, Star, like it, it, we're really, we're really now on the brink of tapping into stuff, like, from Star Wars, Star Trek, like. Mm -hmm. Seeing one of those Star Cruisers come zipping by Earth. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, that'd be insane yeah it's going it's getting it's getting crazy out here man um dude like what's the future of cell phones gonna be now like i, I imagine oh, like yeah holograms right honestly just honestly cool. like maybe contact lenses that we all have like oh. just you know operate that shit with our bare hands man that'd be crazy man there's so much shit man like i, I just can't wait the future is definitely on the horizon mm -hmm. epic stuff happening man um dude uh, I'm anticipating like 40 years from now like our grandkids and shit like that's gonna be crazy for real that's Dude. what I'm saying so there is a very good movie um I usually uh man I like I like epic you know like end of the world scenario movies mm -hmm. Moonfall is a good movie starring uh, Halle Berry um and some other guy, he's he's pretty known for uh, some of his movies too. Man, I, I, I'm sorry, I just don't know his name, but uh, the and he's the main, he's the lead in the movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> man, I just don't have to bury him, man. Like, okay, it's called Moonfall, and that was about artificial intelligence seeking out and destroying humanity, but it already been here. Like the moon was like, I, I don't want to spoil for anybody, but if you like, like, like. Alien Covenant, you know, um, Prometheus, that type of thing. You definitely want to go see Moonfall, man. I don't I go see, see Moonfall. Just go, you know, on demand, rent it, whatever, whatever, you know. However, you're gonna consume your stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Just watch it. Go on one of these sites and watch it for free. That's <laughs> that's what I do. I mean, cool. I don't even like how do you, you know how do you like people wait until it gets on demand or Blu-ray or how yeah. whatever? Cause like, dude, I don't. There's so many sites now that you just get these movies for free now, and everybody does it. So it's like, it's crazy. But Moonfall is definitely dope because basically humankind is basically saying that humans lived. You're starting to see a lot of movies like that, right? Yeah. After Earth with Will Smith and Jaden Smith, um, 65 million years ago, or the movie 65 that just came out with Adam Driver. Oh my God! It's basically saying 
the cave paintings that men made millions of years ago, it was like modern humans. Basically, we existed before in another galaxy. Hmm. And we crash landed on Earth 65 million years ago, and we are what brought the extinction of the dinosaurs. I'm saying. Basically, there was a it was a meteorite shower in that movie, and it caused the ship to crash. Mm-hmm. And and he had to, he found himself on the alien hospitable planet, which were dinosaurs were on that joint. And you know, I guess some specimen of some of the humans that were traveling were left behind. I, that's the only way I could fathom, you know humans being stuck on this planet 65 million years ago. And yeah, then he escaped before the big meteorite came and wiped out all the dinosaurs. Just like deuces. Good you know, luck, guys. Good luck. And then, Figure it out. You know, so that's that's fire. That's fire. So, so AI, future tech, it's all there. Who knows who's to say you know, that that's not true. So in this movie, Moonfall, the AI was created millions of years ago by human-like ancestors. Mm-hmm. It wiped them out because it decided that it wasn't going to be a prisoner to humans anymore. Mm-hmm. It spread across, and so humans were so advanced. We we used satellites, which were moons, to colonize different areas of the universe to find hospitable life. So basically, the moon created the Earth. Interesting. It, yeah. So it's fire. Yeah, I don't have to check it. I haven't seen it you yet either. Watch Moonfall. Fire, bro. Yeah. Fire. If you like 2012. Impact, deep impact, like all those epic sci-fi ones from the back of the day. You're gonna like Moonfall, and so another thing, yo. What about Tony Stark's Jarvis? I was just about to say him. Like, what if we all like maybe in like I think we'll all have that in like five years, maybe ten years. Like a personal assistant, we got it's like it, we we can name it whatever we want to name it. It literally helps us find every little thing that we need to do in the everyday life. And yep. Hey, hey, I, freaking! I'll name it Jeff. Jeff. Hey, Jeff. You, yeah, yo, Jeff. Like, what, what? Like, man, I'm running late. Which intersection? Today? Well, Jamal, you need to take the fifth route. We have a, um, we have a backup of traffic that's going to be actually in about three blocks. So, hmm, it might not be legal, but you're going to want to cut down this alley, and you might be able to avoid police. Too. Like, what if it gets <laughs> that in advance, bro? Like, what if it gets to that point? Like, I'm thinking from the cops. It's just dude, like, okay, take a left here. Yeah. Dude, what you can outrun them on <laughs> Jefferson Street. You're like, wait, what? Yo, how crazy? Like, how crazy? What is that? Like, like we're talking. That's crazy, man. That would be insane. That yeah. that is that is crazy. So, oh man, we're 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 yeah. So now we're on the next level of that. It's cr- it's crazy. Like, we all every human has their own AI, personalized AI. That's fire. Mm-hmm. And that needs to happen like ASAP because I want to be a personal AI that's gonna tell me like how to like beat anybody's ass. Honestly, that'd be so. Teach, like, it's that's like fire. a fifth degree bell automatically because it's AI. It could just pull stuff from the internet, so it's like it can just teach you your, you know, your forms. You know, that'd be yeah. insane. No, it would be. It definitely would be. No, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be nuts, man. But, um, yeah, man, I'm excited, man. It's got a lot of stuff going on. Um, we're in the studio right now, and uh, I think people are just trying to come in here and record this shit because mad people keep coming. <laughs> That's why we got to be in our studio. Definitely. Yeah, like, I, like, dude, like, this is why we, yo, know, this is why a lot of our podcasts are done in, like, dope, like, Airbnbs where we can, like, make the scenery. But this would be a dope studio if we really had this to ourselves. Yeah. No, it really would be, though. And uh, yeah, the only way we can do that is when people yeah. get on our Patreon. Get on our Patreon, man. If you like the content, if you've seen some of our stuff, get on our Patreon. Help support so we can do even more outlandish, epic, you know, one of a kind content, man. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff planned, man. And uh, Patreon is where we get not only your personal input, but this stuff is made by you guys for you guys. Mm-hmm. So. This the importance of supporting us on Patreon. You want to see more quality in our comics, short films, and our podcast? Man, hop on a Patreon, man, and support us, man. It's it's, it's very um affordable, and in the end, it just makes a better product for you guys in the long run. So definitely hop on there and uh, support us, man. We got a whole bunch of epic stuff planned. 
to get more um, effective in our craft, but not only that, to get better um, some co-hosts that are also in the field, and we would love to bring them on the podcast. Yeah, definitely. We got so many like, guests we want to bring on. Yeah, so many people we want to go work with and travel to work with. You mm -hmm. guys can make that happen, and we can make the content you guys want to see and do it to a crazy level. So that's that's really the goal right now, and um, just to get this thing off the ground come on, and to take flight. And you, you guys going to be on. amazed. You guys going to be amazed like that. I like, man. Like one of the things, hopefully, and we're gonna, I'm gonna look back on this podcast and then like show everyone what we were able to do. Like, I want to do a Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon short film. Like, if we have the budget to pull that off, you know, how sick that's gonna be. That's gonna be amazing, dude. Like, and like you were saying about the Patreon and all that stuff is only possible from you guys, even if you can't afford the Patreon. You know, like, subscribe, share, share that's, get the word out. Yeah, that's like, just as good as like, Patreon. Like, exactly, like sharing, subscribing, liking, commenting. We need that. Like mm -hmm. that's gonna help the channel out a lot. And so once once that's done, we're gonna be good. You know? Yeah, yeah. So. Well, then we'll be able to start doing those Game of Thrones short films. We'll start being able to make more of our own short films for you guys. Exactly. And then it's just gonna explode from there. Mm -hmm. The more we got. The more we can do, the more yeah. support we have, the more we can do. The more followers we have, the more we can do. So when you see a post from us, please like, share, comment, and if you don't follow us, follow us because we're finally gonna do what a lot of people are complaining they're not seeing in these main in mainstream or or movies or we'll do fan we can do fan scenarios of things that they want to see in movies but they didn't get a chance to see. Yeah, like the how it should have ended. Oh yeah, stuff. let's do how it should have ended. We can do yeah. videos. But live action. Live action, how it should have ended. Ooh. That's a good idea, I like that. Hey man. Heard it here first. You heard it here first. You guys definitely don't want to join that Patreon and follow us on our platform. Because mm -hmm. if you want to see, that's, those, are, those are what we can do. Yeah. How it should have ha ended, movies. Yeah, that'd be fire. That, that's gonna be fire. That'd be sick. So we definitely gotta get that going. We first one we do is The Flash. That'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. I'm gonna go see that tomorrow. So excited. Oh yeah, man. I'm about to go see Transformers, man. But yeah, we could do that. We could do how we could do any cover anything from any DC movie mm -hmm. to re any other type of action movie or um, regular sitcom or show. Not sitcom, but show that might have been a, a big fan favorite. Any type mm -hmm. of sci-fi, um, fantasy, like I said. Yeah, comment on this podcast. What would you like to see first? Like, yeah, yeah. You know what type what type of movies you wanna wanna see reenacted? Mm -hmm. You know, or a fan film? Yeah, your favorite of what do you wanna see? Yeah, just throw it down there, and then we'll make it happen. You already know what it is, man. It's D A B, baby, and you just tapped into the Dabcast. Let's go. Let's go. It's D A B.